Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. So we're going to check into your current energies, then we'll look at what spirit wants you to focus on. And then the last row, we're going to take a peek into your next three to six months as well. After that, I will clear the cards and we'll get into your person's energy and your energy, how they're feeling about you, how you're feeling. So I hope you'll stick around for that if that's your, what you're interested in. Also, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for all Aries. Um, if it doesn't, go ahead and check out those other placements or come back next week. There's a possibility that maybe this week it's just not your message. But we're going to go ahead and get into your energy and see how things are going for you for the next 10 days. This is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so let's get your current energy. We've got the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords in reverse, the Magician, Queen of Wands in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, the Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords in reverse, which is great, and then we have Judgment in reverse. Okay, so if you've been with me, the last couple of readings were talking about some difficulty within a relationship, whether it was a high-level relationship or you could possibly be going through a divorce. It looks like that decision is going to be made within the next three to six months. That's not going to be for everybody. It could be that the paperwork is going to be finalized within that period of time, but we'll get into that. So right now, we have the Knight of Wands. In reverse as your overall energy I feel like these are the things that you are finally releasing so if you've been holding on to maybe there's some grudges they were saying or some feelings of discontent or feeling like you constantly have to be on the defensive about how you feel where you stand um, the things that matter to you things like that this energy feels really strongly like you're releasing that you're letting it go you're not focusing on it as much, at least in the next 10 days and possibly in the next three to six months. Feeling as though you've overcome some of those difficult times um, or those difficult energies. So let's get into your current energy. So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse and then we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords in reverse. Right now I feel like your focus may not be as much on love. If there's a situation that was not fulfilling, which again, if this is following the last couple of readings, it would just tell me that right now you may be pulling back your energy as far as love is concerned because you really want to focus on yourself, your independence, possibly putting more energy into work. Um, you recognize that you are worthy of a certain type of love and I don't think you're going to compromise anymore if you were in a situation where you felt like you did, where you may have compromised too much of yourself, maybe um, gave away too much uh, power to someone else. That's not for everybody. Um, but right now it feels like you're finally coming out of a space of constantly being in your head about it or questioning the decisions that you've made in love. Now it's like you're recognizing what may have gone wrong, uh, the parts both people played, understanding that that relationship was a great lesson for you and using that to move forward to find that space of feeling good within again and also feeling super independent and able to move through the difficult times without having so much worry on your mind. So that's great energy. If that's how you're feeling right now, definitely let me know because there's been some tough energy the last couple of readings. So then we have what Spirit wants you to to focus on, which is the ma magician, which is all about manifesting things in your life that you really want now. There's a heavy push for me to say to focus on those things. If for some reason you hadn't felt like you could find that passion, like dig deep. I think spirit wants you to dig deep and understand that whatever it is that you put your mind to, wherever your passions really lie, it's important to focus on those things. Those are the things that are gonna bring you the happiness that you're looking for. And right now, it just doesn't feel like 
Maybe things are moving as quickly as you had wanted. They recognize that, but there's patience needed in transformation. So as you start to put your energy into the things that you want moving forward, and you put that passion in there, you can move mountains, right? So they just want you to focus on the things that matter. Manifestation is a process. So it doesn't mean that things aren't coming. It just means that maybe you can't see that right now. So I have quite a bit of Cancer energy here, and I also have Capricorn, as well as Aries, Libra, and, uh, or Aries, I'm sorry, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini energy. So let's move into the next three to six months. So we have the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Swords in reverse, and then we have Judgment in reverse. Once you've gotten past the pain of something that has ended, when things start to seem like they're moving in that direction, that's when new energy starts to move towards you. It could be that somebody has a lot to say. Um, it could be the person from your past who just wants to discuss that they understand where they created those disappointments, those pains and things that had happened. And I'm, I'm getting two different things from this. So it could also be somebody else realizing that you're now free with the judgment in reverse and wanting to move towards you and tell you that they've had this feeling like the Knight of Wands is about passion, but not somebody who necessarily moves really quickly. He may come in to give you a message, he or she. Um, they may just say they understand what you've been through and that they'd like to maybe get to know you better. So again, this is taking a peek in the next three to six months. But it's really important to recognize that the Ten of Swords is in reverse, the judgment is in reverse, decisions have been made to move forward, to put the past behind you, to recognize where the pain was, and maybe get some acknowledgement, if I can talk today, from the person that you were dealing with. They may just want to let you know that they understand. If not, it could just be somebody new that recognizes that you're free, as I said, and maybe you're coming out of that place of not feeling so great because things were difficult, and this person wants to let you know that they're thinking about you, you're on their mind, and they could possibly want to take you on a date. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. I really do see you focusing more on yourself. I keep getting mixed in my head, but this is for Aries. So I want to make sure that we're clear this is for you because I keep feeling this Leo energy. So there may be a Leo in your life, and that's why I'm feeling so strongly about Leo, that is someone who wants to come towards you is what I sense. So we've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse and then the Three of Wands in reverse. This is, again, where I feel like maybe you can't see what's coming. You're waiting for that moment where things start to move in a direction where you start to feel like you can stand on your own two feet again. It may not be obvious yet, but it's coming. The energy just may feel a little bit slow. Now we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Again, this is um, somebody who's not moving towards you yet because that Knight of Wands comes in the next three to six months. So if this person hasn't spoken up, that they have an attraction to you, they are coming. They may be dealing with a situation that they have to get out of first. I do sense that there's also a need for you to find some balance, mind, body, and soul. I definitely do sense that you're getting there. You've been in your head a lot. If uh, the last two readings had resonated for you, then this is just the energy that I'm picking up moving on from that, saying that there's some balance needed in those areas of your life. And again, right now, I just don't sense that somebody's going to be coming in to communicate. This could be someone that you had split from and there's a lack of communication between the two of you. Maybe the two of you need to have a conversation in order for things to just move on. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the Magician. I wanna shuffle again for you. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, I feel like that's just that need, as I was saying, to find those things that you're passionate about moving forward so that you can manifest what it is you are, are dreaming about that you want in the future. 
So with the Two of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands, and then we have the Death card. So Spirit wants you to recognize that this is a huge transformation. They also want to give you confirmation that they understand this is a big transformation. Um, it, you could have been dealing with a Leo. As I mentioned, not Leo. Why am I picking up Leo from death? Um, this is actually a Scorpio card, but I kept wanting to say Leo again. So Aries, if you're dealing with either, um, that's for somebody. So this is a big transformation. And Spirit just wants you to understand that you're being supported it may feel a little tough right now because you haven't gotten to the finish line, the things that you wanted to... Um, actually, you know what? I think there's a mix. There definitely is a Leo because I am coming up with Leo's last two readings and that's what I keep referencing, so I apologize. Check into your last two readings and if you were dealing with a Leo, maybe you need to watch the Leo readings because you may have been involved with somebody. For you guys right now, I'm sensing there is this big transformation. And it could be, again, with a Scorpio. They're just stopping me because I'm, I'm hearing a couple different thoughts. Then we have the Two of Cups in Reverse and the Nine of Wands. So a relationship that could have been difficult. It obviously seems as though there was a lot of things you were carrying with you. Maybe you carried the weight of that relationship. And Spirit's just confirming that for you. that They understand it's been difficult. You had a tough choice to make whether to walk away and release some of these burdens or to stay in the relationship and as I said I sense that you're moving forward because the next three to six months indicates that those things are coming to an end so let's get a clarifier for the knight of wands and the ten of swords in reverse is the ace of cups and then we have the seven of cups in reverse which is perfect because we discussed somebody possibly coming towards you that Knight of Wands. Maybe once they realize that you're coming out of that place, everything is energy. So if somebody wants to move towards you energetically, once you've come to a place where you're releasing some of the burdens of the past, that's when the energy will start moving. This is the Ace of Cups, finding your happiness, finding that love that feels new and different and exciting. This is someone who knows exactly what they want. Instead of having a ton of options in the reverse, it makes me feel like they know that you're the one that they want to pursue and there's new exciting beginnings in love. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. So stick with me for a second and think about the person that you want to know about. And we'll get into their energy and then we'll get into your energy and clarify with the romance angels and the lovers oracle and then we'll get the wisdom of the oracle to close out the reading okay let's see how your person is feeling well right now i think they're just holding back emotionally um trying to get over some of the disappointment where things fell apart feeling like maybe you have a lot of options in love and not wanting to come forward. I, I just got, they don't want to embarrass themselves. And then let's see, we have justice in reverse. So the judgment card in reverse and justice in reverse. So if this is the person, if you're thinking about the person that you could possibly be either leaving or divorcing, this is how they're feeling. And then for the others who just want to see how the person that they're currently interested in is feeling, we'll get to both scenarios. So the one from the past that you may be separated from or divorcing is trying to get through the pain. Um, right now, I just feel like they're a little bit imbalanced. They're holding back their emotions. Maybe they're trying to focus on preserving um, their finances. I, I feel like they just want to focus on work. And then we have the Seven of Cups. I don't think this is about that they have options. I think they're just confused about what steps to take next. And I think they think you have a lot of options. And that could stop them from wanting to move forward. They may be somebody who withholds a lot of emotion or um, they just said stingy. So I hate to say that about anybody, but there are some people out there who are very money conscious, very frugal, um, could, you know, not want to share their pentacles with other people. But right now, I think that that's just what they're focused on. So for you, 
I feel like you want to move forward. This is the energy of wanting to connect with somebody new. Um, this is a definitely a new beginning. And to go back to the regular reading, with the Eight of Wands, it's just that communication hasn't come through yet. And then we have the King of Swords. So this energy feels like, to me, there's the King of Swords and then the Queen of Cups. Both masculine and feminine energy showing up, which tells me that with the King of Swords, you're cutting through any BS with anyone, recognizing that you need to speak up maybe a little bit more where you hadn't in the past in your other relationships. And if some new start happens, that you're going to be very clear about who you are, where you stand, what you've been through, and not hold back feelings anymore, and cut through any BS with anyone who comes in not... Um, what you sense is somebody that's going to be for you and not even giving it the energy or the time of day. And then we have the Queen of Cups, which is beautiful energy. Again, male or female, you could just be focusing on wanting to sort of build back up your emotional stability, wanting to focus on yourself, maybe a lot of self-care. This is like for women going to the salon and making sure you feel your best. So when you're ready for that person to come in, you're feeling at the top of your game. All right, so let's get some romance angels and see what that has to say for you. This is for Aries the next 10 days. This is for Aries. So we have healing family issues very soon and heart-to-heart -heart conversations, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. That's what I was talking about. It could be that this person is just holding back financially because they need to rebuild or they need to focus on that right now. The family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, if you haven't heard this in one of your readings, I do emphasize that it's really important, especially if you're going through your spiritual awakening, to focus on healing whatever those things were, those lessons that you needed to learn from childhood, either traumas or difficulties or whatever it was that led you into a place where you had valuable lessons to learn and love. Healing those things are going to make the next relationship, the next step in your love life, much better. Even if you want to heal within a relationship that you're currently in, healing those things helps to expand the love that you can experience with the person that you want to be with. And then very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is all about you focusing on you coming out of that, that period. If you are coming out of a divorce and recognizing that this energy is going to be moving towards you, I saw that new beginning. If you're looking for love, it's coming. Once you focus on you, get yourself back to that place where you feel great about who you are and found your stability, that energy is going to start moving towards you. And then heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I don't feel like this is somebody from the past that you're split from. So to me, this is going to be all about feeling vulnerable in a new relationship, being able to express yourself openly and honestly, and trusting that just because other relationships didn't pan out doesn't mean that a new one um, can't or that you can't be vulnerable with somebody new. All right, so let's get a lover's oracle card for you and then we'll close it out with the wisdom of the oracle. Thank you guys, by the way, so much for all of your support, your likes and comments and subscriptions. I appreciate it so much. Okay, and then freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. I mean, that's what we're picking up is that as you're moving forward out of any difficult endings or divorces, that the path is clear and that you know what you want moving forward. Okay, so let's get the wisdom of the oracle to close this out. This is for Aries. This is for Aries. They want to shuffle one more time. So we have a leg up, time for a nap, and yin. This is 34, which reduces to a seven, which to me is very spiritual energy. So right now I feel like you're taking those steps up, like you're growing spiritually, which is great. That's always helpful in every relationship or every situation in your life, especially when dealing with 
um, not only partnerships, family, friendships, and work, and then we have time for a nap, you could possibly need to take a little bit of a break. Um, I know Aries are go, 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 and you guys can work yourselves to death, cook yourselves to death. You put so much energy and effort into life. It's beautiful, but you also need to recognize that there there is a time when you need to take a break. And then the yin energy, which is great because to me that says that you're starting to balance out. You're finding not only the balance between your masculine and femi feminine energy, but also just finding sort of a peace within is what I sense. Okay, Aries, that was your reading. Thank you so much for being with me till the end. Again, if you like this, please do like and comment and subscribe. All of that helps me so much. Uh, it helps me know if the readings are resonating for you and it also helps me connect to your energy. If you would like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I love you guys so much. Thank you again. Have a beautiful 10 days and I'll see you in next week's reading. Take care. Bye.